This little boy from Hudson got his wish. The day we met Noah Nero, he spent hours riding trains and gazing at miniature trains and eating chocolate ice cream, playing arcade games, and taking his family right back to those trains. He likes trains a lot. Oh, no, honey, you don't have to say cheese. Just talk to him. <laughs> Noah plays hard, but speaks in soft, faint whispers. Play. Play. Because he spent much of his childhood with tubes down his throat. He has a lot of vocal cord damage. Noah's wish was to hang out at Give Kids the World near Disney, a resort for kids with life-threatening conditions. He's very happy even when he doesn't feel good and stuff. Noah was born with a bad heart, had open heart surgery as a three-week-old infant, then again at six months, then again as a toddler, then went through a heart transplant at the age of five and smiled even on the rough days that broke his mother's heart. You can see him kind of spacing out and going there, and he, he just... He's happy inside and outside. This seven-year-old has also suffered from seven fractured bones. He struggles with osteoporosis, cerebral palsy, and lung disease, and his mother, Cherish, can't afford private health care. I have to stay at home and take care of him, so it's not there. <laughs> we don't have options. And now she says they're losing the options they had because of changes to state Medicaid. Going a week and a half without a medication that he needs, I never had that. In his first seven years, we never had issues. And now I just feel like I'm constantly fighting to get what he needs. As Florida moved most Medicaid recipients into managed care to save money, Cherish noticed cutbacks for Noah, from denials for medical tests to reductions in his therapy. It's just been within the last year I'm seeing things are more difficult. Turn your wheel. And it may soon get much harder because the federal fund that helps cover Noah's medical costs is drying up. The federal government is phasing out the low income pool that helps hospitals treat children like Noah. Just cutbacks terrify me because everything he needs, he needs to live. We asked Governor Scott's office to respond to Medicaid patients who say reforms have reduced their access to care. The governor's office declined to respond. We want to go to a statewide managed care program. The rising cost of Medicaid drove the state reforms under Scott that started with former Governor Jeb Bush. Medicaid is a place that just is like the cookie monster for budgets. It eats everything in its way. If you count federal contributions, Medicaid accounts for around 30% of the state budget. Bush and Scott said they had to reel it in. And after national reforms and years of assessments, the federal government said it had to phase out the hospital funds. The state agreed to shift some state money into that fund this year, but lawmakers and hospitals are still facing a crisis that can hit a lot of kids like Noah Nero, and we don't know what they'll do or what he'll get. Every treatment that we do for him, every medication that we give him, he needs to live. In Kissimmee, Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News.